every vehicle platform is touched in some way, shape, or form here in the Rapid Prototyping Lab. Whether it's a car or a truck, overseas or here for General Motors is touched by this department. We have supported the product development and helped reduce the lead time to the customer and to market through the Rapid Prototyping Lab. RP technology has been a great help to eliminating the carbon footprint or minimizing that carbon footprint. Anything with weight that you can start to reduce utilizing alternative materials helps to that end, end goal of eliminating weight, saving gas. Our customer base is quite broad because they know that they can get it from us, get it quick, and get it right. And there's virtually little to no cost. Rapid prototyping allows us to uh, understand our designs, uh, not only uh, as far as a uh, technical uh, aspect, but uh, from a very functional, very uh, touch and feel aspect. Uh, once we actually finish or establish a, a design direction, we use rapid prototyping to quickly understand what it is about the, uh, the design that would uh, enable or enhance ergonomics and functionality of every single part. Um, at a studio level, it gives us a sense of the final design because of it, its speed, its accuracy. Some of the benefits uh, above that is uh, being able to fit uh, various components together and understand part-to-part -part interfaces. Rapid prototyping has enabled us to elevate the quality and craftsmanship of our components and that is ultimately the, the goal in designing world-class interiors. Rapid prototyping is very important in aerodynamics. Every model we have has some sort of rapid prototype part in it. The reduced scale models, the full size models, even when we get into integration vehicles or production, we still use rapid prototype parts on those vehicles. They're important to us because we can get actual surface from designers with perfect contour that fit on our model in a very short amount of time. In the past, we would have to wait until we had the production tooled parts in order to get a drag number off of it. Now we don't have to do that thanks to rapid prototyping because we can have the actual part made in the RP lab. Even though the production tool's not ready, we have the data. So we can make it out of the RP lab, put it on the car, and get the actual drag data off of it. If we have the right parts at the right time and we can get the data upstream enough, then we can get more drag reduction into the vehicle, ultimately resulting in better fuel economy for the customer. This process has proven out to eliminate a lot of early stages of tooling for engineering, for manufacturing, and it is just a fantastic medium to have. As a matter of fact, uh, right now we have a, a resin that has a clear resolution to it and has just a slight blue pigment. It can actually be used for actual lenses that go into our clay type properties and some of our full model properties where we wouldn't have to go ahead and duplicate or replicate that part in a casting procedure. DSLS, again that stands for Selective Laser Centering and that being a, a powder form and in the engineering world that is a, a big medium that is used in a lot of the plastics that they use in an IP or in some of the parts within a seat structure, seat surround, etc. Virtually unbreakable type material and it comes right out of the machine, go right over to the technician or the engineer and go out for validation. It's, it's a fabulous material. So we are actually a beta site testing facility for 3D, whereas they go ahead and they find different machine changes that they may want to incorporate that they think can continue to increase the quality, reduce the lead time, build it faster, quicker, better. We are the first ones that they come to say, hey, what do you think about trying this out? By being a beta tester with that, that gives us a leading edge over our competition, if you will, and we have done real well with it. Yeah, just returning from the World Conference in Belgium, I walked away feeling extremely pleased that where our foothold is in this technology, General Motors is on the leading edge, and it is just a fantastic medium to have to our arsenal of uh, tools here in a pre-production environment.